Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make little gears or cogs in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, I've opened up Illustrator, and now we'll come over here to Create New. I'll come up here to Print, and then choose Letter, and then we'll come down here and choose Create. Okay, so to make a gear, we're going to start with a star tool. So come over here to what usually is your rectangle tool, but mine's on the ellipse right now. So I'm gonna click and drag and just choose the star down here. And now I'm going to click and drag on my canvas. And as you can see, we've got a five pointed star. And while I'm still dragging, I wanna hit the up arrow key. And this will add more points to the star. And this looks pretty good, so I'll just let off. Now I'll hit V to get on my selection tool, and I'll click and drag and just make this a little bit bigger by grabbing a handle. Now we'll want to hit A on our keyboard, which will bring us to our direct selection tool. And now we have these little blue dots. Not the ones out here, but this one in here. And these are corner widgets. And if you go up to corners, which is right up here, if you don't see this bar, you can go to window control. But anyway, it's on your control bar. You can just click the word corners and you have several options here. The one we want is the very last one. And then we'll increase our radius. Now we're getting those gear edges that are so cool. Okay, that looks pretty good, 12 points. And now I'm going to draw a circle. So I'll hit L on my keyboard, which will bring me to my ellipse tool. And then I'm just going to hold Shift and Option, Shift and Alt on a PC. And I'm just going to drag right in the middle there. Then I'll select both with my selection tool. And I'll come over here to my Align Palette. If you don't have any of these windows open, you can always go to Window and Align or whatever you need. Now I'll center this with the Vertical Align Center and the Horizontal Align. And it's perfectly aligned. So let's switch the colors. I'm going to come over here to the colors and just click this arrow. And you can see this isn't actually cut out in the middle and we want it cut out. So to do that, we have both pieces selected still and we can hit Shift M. That will bring us to our Shape Builder tool. That's the one right over here. And then to cut out the middle one, we hold Option and just click once. And now we've created our gear. Okay, let's try another way. If you don't have corner widgets, you might be on CS6, Adobe Illustrator CS6 or older. So you'll have to do this a little different way. We'll still want the star tool, so let's come over here and grab our star. It'll still have a lot of points like we just had it. You can always, while you're dragging, still hit your down arrow and get back to your regular five point star. But I'm going to leave it right here and I'll release. We'll want to add a lot of circles to this. My bounding box is a little bit rotated, so I'm going to come up here to Object, Transform, and Reset Bounding Box. And that'll put it straight up and down. That'll be important when I want to center things. Now I'll hit L on my keyboard to get to my Ellipse tool. I'm just going to click in there, shift and option, and drag a center piece like we did up here. Now I'm going to hit V and select both of those. And I'll come to my align window again and center vertically and horizontally. Okay, now I need to make a few more copies of this circle. I'm going to hit Command C and Command B for paste behind. On a PC, that would be Control B. And I'm going to change the color of this one. Let's make it green. Now it's exactly behind the black one, so we aren't able to see it right now. But let's get on a corner and hold Shift and Option, and we'll make it a little bit bigger. I want it to go out past the areas where the points meet. So right about here, I think. And that will form this part of the gear. Okay, let's do that one more time. I'm gonna I'm going to copy and paste behind with Command-B or Control-B on a PC. And I'll make it a different color. I'm only doing that so we can see what's going on. And then I'll hit V to get back on my selection tool. And I'll come out just a little bit further, maybe to here. Okay, so now I'm going to select all three inner rings. 
and I'm going to put the opacity at 80%. Now we can see what's going on behind there. So we don't actually want the points that are out here. I'm going to select the star and the blue, and then I'm going to hit Shift M to get my Shape Builder tool, hold Option, and then just drag through all those points. Make sure not to hit any other part though, because it'll also remove that. Okay, now we can just delete the blue. Now I wanna combine the green with this outer area. This part will make these little interior cutouts. So I'm going to select the star and the green only, holding Shift, and then hit Shift M to get back on my Shape Builder tool, and then hold Shift and just draw a box around those. So now we have those little cutouts like we do on our other gear. Now let's click on that center piece. I think I wanna make this just a little bit bigger. And we might move it down a little bit. Now I'll hit Shift M to get to the Shape Builder again. And then I'll Option and click on that center piece to remove it. And now I want this gear to be the same color as this one, so I'm going to use my eyedropper tool and just click to get the same fill and stroke as this one. All right, that's how easy it is to make a gear. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.